By far, the black bear is the most common and widespread of the three North American bear species. The largest, but fewest in number, the great polar bear inhabits the northern Arctic regions. Weighing up to 1,300 pounds, they hunt the ice flows and coastlines for their primary food source, seals. In some regions, such as the northern juncture of Quebec and Labrador, their habitat actually overlaps with the northern edge of the black bear's habitat. Like the black bear, its cousin, the grizzly, once inhabited much of the virgin American landscape. But 400 years of human expansion has displaced grizzlies into the remote northwestern regions of the continent. However, isolated populations remain in places such as Yellowstone Park. Depending on habitat, grizzlies can vary in size from that of a large black bear to a medium-sized polar bear. Because of their salmon-rich diet, the coastal grizzly or brown bear grows larger than its inland counterpart and can easily weigh over 1,000 pounds. The ferocious image most people have of bears comes from the menacing portrayal of grizzlies in the movies. Unfortunately, most people also apply that fearsome Hollywood image to black bears, yet they are very different animals, both in their habits and threat to humans. A uh, black bear is perceived as a bad animal, I think, largely because of the way bears have been portrayed to our society throughout the course of history. Uh, every picture you've seen of a bear, or many of them anyway, have been of his teeth bared and slobbering and attacking something or someone and looking to make a mess and be a really mean creature that they truly are not. Uh, especially the black bear, very shy, very docile, so I think a lot of it's public uh, misperception of what a, a black bear really is, a shy, timid animal that, yes, is very capable of defending itself and its offspring. So there comes that fine balance of how do I really appreciate this magnificent creature for what it is and yet know how to live with it and how not to provoke it. When it comes to size, the black bear is the smallest of the three North American bear species. Adults vary considerably across their range because of differences in habitat, genetics, and food abundance. If you're talking about an adult female bear, the average size is going to be between 150 and 200 pounds. Uh, the average size adult male will be between 200 and 300 pounds. Of course, there are those extremes. And their weights will vary throughout the, their range depending on the quality of the habitat. And their weights can range uh, from year to year uh, among individuals. Uh, after a year where there's an abundant acorn crop, bears away a lot more than after a mass uh, or acorn failure. In Manitoba, uh, several years ago, there was an adult male hit and killed by a car. It was 850 something in late August. So it had another month or two of feeding before it would have entered a den. It would have been over 900 pounds, perhaps pushing 1,000. So they're capable of attaining sizes that you imagine brown bears. The American black bear is typically black in color with a tan muzzle and occasional white markings on the chest. However, their coats can range from blonde to deep brown. Black colored bears are most common in the east, while brown colored bears are more common in the west. White and bluish colored bears can occur in the Pacific coastal and northwest regions. Female black bears typically become sexually mature around three years old. Mating primarily occurs in June or July when males roam extensively in search of receptive females. It's really the only time that the adult males and the adult females tolerate each other. Uh, after breeding, the female goes on about her way. If she puts on enough fat during the summer and fall to sustain herself and those cubs through the winter denning period, then uh, she'll go in the den about December. She gives birth to cubs in mid-January, and bears are delayed in planters. So when the cubs are born, uh, they're very small, fairly hairless, and their eyes are still shut, um, and they only weigh about nine to 12 ounces. But bear milk is some of the richest milk in the world, so the cubs grow very quickly. During their denning period, 
all of the bear's energy requirements come from their fat reserves. Bears can den for six months without urinating, defecating, eating, or drinking. Yet black bears are not classified as true hibernators, as their body temperature only drops a few degrees, and they are easily aroused. In fact, they sometimes den right on top of the ground. However, dens are more often sheltered recesses that can be anything from a hollow tree to a brush pile or even under a house. In early spring, adult males usually leave their dens first, followed by subadults and females with yearlings. Females with newborn cubs are the last to emerge and may remain near their den for several weeks. When they finally emerge from their dens, bears begin foraging mostly for insects and grasses. But they also feed on carrion then, often in the form of road or winter kill. Although black bears are scientifically classified as carnivores, along with wolves and coyotes, because they have canine teeth, their diet is omnivorous, which means they will eat almost any digestible plant or animal matter. This ability to eat any available food at any given time defines black bears as true opportunists. During late spring through late summer, bears feed primarily on fruits. This soft-mast diet may include blackberries, pokeberries, wild cherries, sassafras berries, blueberries, and other berries. By the time soft mast begins to ripen, cubs have learned to climb and eat almost any available food along with their mother. They supplement their diet during the summer with higher protein in the form of insects. Through late summer and fall, bears feed mostly on nuts produced from trees. This hard mast commonly includes hickory nuts, beech nuts, hazelnuts, and a variety of acorns. The amount and types of nuts varies considerably each year. Acorns make up the black bear's most important and widespread hard mast in many areas of the country, while beech nuts are the prime mast in parts of the Northeast. A black bear's heavy muscle structure and strong claws help make them excellent tree climbers which gives them a definite advantage when competing with other animals for these mast crops. The high fat content of nuts is important for bears to add the necessary fat to their bodies to prepare them for winter hibernation. During the fall feeding, bears may gain 100 pounds or more before going into their winter dens. Contrary to what you might think, bears do not den because it's cold outside during the winter. They den because of lack of food. Uh, they are omnivores, which means they'll, they have a varied diet, but most of their diet is made up of vegetative matter, and when the trees go dormant uh, and the other plants go dormant, there's no food produced for the bears. So they den to avoid this uh, period without food. Cubs remain with their mother for about a year and a half. That's why adult female black bears produce cubs every two years at best. At about 18 months of age, cubs, now called yearlings, go out searching for their own home range. The female may allow the female yearlings to stay within her home range, but male yearlings must find a territory to claim as their own. This is often difficult and dangerous. Older, more dominant males have established their home ranges and will chase away smaller encroaching males. Dominant males occupy the best habitat, leaving the marginal habitat for the surviving younger male bears. Much of this marginal habitat is close to rural homes, towns, or cities, which explains why young male bears end up causing most negative bear-human encounters and have a higher mortality rate. Black bears are most vulnerable in their first two years of life when they can die from a variety of natural and human-related causes. Their small size combined with learning how to avoid danger through trial and error take their toll. Once they reach maturity, Hunting, poaching, and vehicle collisions become their main causes of death. In the remote wilds, black bears can live 30 years or more, but bear longevity correlates with the quality of the habitat and their ability to avoid humans. The resulting average lifespan of a black bear is between 10 and 15 years, and unfortunately, the closer it lives to humans, the shorter the bear's expected lifespan. However, humans aren't the only danger to bears. 
Adult male bears kill and eat cubs or yearlings. Also, bears young and old die from injuries induced from other bears. Yet despite the mayhem that bears inflict on one another, it doesn't begin to compare to the impact of their interactions with humans.